This video is sponsored by Squarespace, our go-to for managing our online commerce business. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we are at Sheffield Hangar and I am with a guest. This is Rebecca, or Reeves Climbs. We have never climbed together before. <laughs> this is our first time meeting. But we're gonna go around some of our project level grades at the hangar. I used to be a roller derby player. It was one of the sports that sort of went out of the window with the pandemic and with lockdown mm -hmm. and everything. And I was really missing the like the adrenaline rush from, from doing that. And one of my friends just in 2020, she just invited me to go bouldering with her. And I was like, okay, yeah, well, I'll give that a go. And then I just remember um, climbing like a really easy thing. I didn't know about start holds and I didn't know about end holds and yeah. grades or anything like that. And I just sort of, got up to the top and I was just like, oh, the adrenaline rush, it's the same adrenaline rush. This, this could be, this could be it, this could be the sport for me. So I I was quite fit in 2020 because I'd been like sort of regularly training and then um, I found it physically a lot easier to sort of like get up the routes. Um, so I used, to, I used to go quite a lot. I was going sort of three times a week. Um, and then uh, in 2021, I moved away from where I was living into a place that didn't have any climbing gyms and I started my doctorate um, which is obviously quite intensive um, and so that means that I had to like you know put the climb into the yeah. one side a little bit and then like focus on the work in the past year I've only managed to climb maybe once a month okay. and I've definitely noticed like a bit of a regression in my level mm -hmm. um, but in the past four months a new gym has opened um, and I've been able to go sort of consistently twice a week nice. now and I've definitely noticed my confidence has gone up um, my techniques have gone up I've got new shoes and that's sort of making my technique better and the sort of consistency of my climbing it's it's not you know massive jumps or anything but it's like a nice slow consistent development in my skill nice. um, and it's really nice to just be able to see that like with the work and the determination and the commitment that like there is progress like yeah. even if it's small I think it still counts so the project is a uh, hangar blue I don't know what the grade is mm -hmm. um, I'm getting about two-thirds of the way up maybe even three-quarters of the way up um, and there's a bit where there's not a very nice hold and it's not juggy um, and I'm too scared to use it to bring my feet up because I sort of feel like I'm tipping backwards and it's not super pleasant so that's where we're at with that one nice Rebecca go on Go on, yeah, nice, nice, nice. That's it. Yeah? Yeah. That's my previous high point. Nice. And I know what I need to do, because I've just seen someone do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think it's psychology. I know yeah. I could probably make the move happily. Yeah. I'm too scared to make the move. I think the only thing I changed was that I went quite far right on the hold with my right hand. Mm -hmm. And it's like guppy it. That's not a guppy. But is that a guppy? I don't know. I think that's a guppy. I've learned a new word. Guppy. Like the side? So I was using like my palm and my fingers. Maybe I should go up and see if I can put my full weight on my left foot. Yeah. I don't necessarily need to reach for it. No. But I can see if I can... Yeah, so break it down. So before we get into the bulk of the project's video, I wanted to take this section of the video to talk about Squarespace and our Squarespace shop and recent restock. So this section of the video is sponsored by Squarespace, but Nathan and I genuinely love using Squarespace for our merch business, and I've been using Squarespace pretty much since the beginning to keep all of my written content and photography in one place. What I really love about Squarespace for our shop was how easy it was to create a sleek design with their block builder style templates and how easy they make keeping track of things like our stock and our orders. 
Features which have been really useful for Nathan and I are the low stock alerts to let us know when we're running low on stock and also the back in stock alerts for customers who want to know when out of stock items have come back in stock. So if you'd like to check out Squarespace, head to squarespace.com forward slash Hannah Morris and then use the unique code Hannah Morris for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, so I'm going to try it again because Hannah has brushed the holes <laughs> and has informed me that they are pristine. And the plan, so if I was to think of an active plan, I'm just going to try the same thing, which is to put my full weight on my left foot mm -hmm. and take my right foot off the hold so I can see what that feels like. Yeah. So not necessarily trying to get anywhere further, but just to see what it's like to weight differently. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Oh God, no. <laughs> I feel like... Hmm. It's just, it's just fear, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah. I think even though the drop knee looks like it gets your hip close to the wall, it takes what is quite like a square and straight on position into quite a like... A, bar, a potential for a barn door. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, so I think that's a no, no? <laughs> from me. Um, and I do think that like, so uh, one of my, one, there's a coach at my home wall and he often says, work on your most limiting factor. And yeah. my, most limi my most limiting factor at the minute is fear. Right. Um, so I actually think that I've got the strength and I think yeah. that I've got the technique. Yeah. I'm just scared. I think I was doing, I was doing it wrong though because I was aiming to put my foot up but I saw the other person do it and the way you did it is that you didn't, you reached first yeah. and then put your foot on. Um, yeah. I think that would be the next thing is that I'm really scared to take my hand off yeah. and just be, uh, Yeah. Um, but that's okay, like I feel like that's progress, that's progress yeah. counts as progress. I, like never in my dreams did I think that I'd be doing a blue yeah. or projecting a blue at the hangar. So. You're absolutely strong enough. My first project, I picked out this purple slabby climb behind me. Slab is typically something that I stay away from a little bit because I find it difficult to trust my feet. Um, and this one looks like you definitely have to be able to trust your feet. So. <laughs> At the top, you have to like match in on a, a little. How would you describe that hold? A uh, little like 
nubbin. A nubbin, a nubbin. <laughs> um, and it's not really good enough to like get anything on. I think you have to be established on your feet and balanced to like touch it. But the top of the wall was like right there. So I just like saw an opportunity and like <laughs> bailed out onto the top. But I feel like there's definitely a theme emerging. I was like, I think I was capable of doing that, but I let my brain win. Okay, how did that feel? Eyes closed moment of finding the point of balance. Like at one point I had like both my hands off the wall and I was just using my like core and my hips to like stabilise myself. And I just tried not to think about my feet <laughs> and be like, because I'm not moving them, I'm not doing anything with them, I'm not trying to like switch their position or like I didn't need to think about them, I was just thinking about balance and core. Isn't this weird that sometimes we have to really think about our feet and sometimes we don't really have to think about our feet and we're actually thinking about hips or hands or yeah. face, yeah. head, <laughs> maybe face less so. In psychology we call this parallel processing. Okay. So like it's the ability to be able to hold multiple processes in mind at the same time ah. and it's sort of like so you're aware of your feet but you're also aware of what your hands are doing and you're also aware yeah. of your hip placement and it's sort of like how much can you hold on to in your mind at the same time. Yeah. Um, which is a, a kind of tricky concept um, because it takes like quite a lot of conscious awareness. Yeah. Project number two, probably got chalk on my face now, that's okay. <laughs> um, the black and the pink roots at the hangar are, the aim is I think, I think to teach you to do a specific movement yeah. or a, uh, a specific thing, a specific yeah, goal. Yeah. And this one quite handily says, mantle. <laughs> um, so I have tried this before. I tried it last week. I tried it on Monday. Um, I'm too scared to commit again. Scary. Um, so we can just see see what happens, shall we? Yeah, nice. That wasn't right. So bring, was it? The, bring the right foot back down. Put the left foot up higher. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, one minute. <laughs> yeah, 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 nice. Leg press, yeah, yeah. And then twist the left knee towards, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I can't get it. Can you lift the leg up? No. <laughs> There's no flexibility <laughs> there, is there? <laughs> Oh, feels very unstable. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Um, it's almost like you're angling your body a certain way for maximum efficiency. Yeah. Um, I just think that, I guess, if I was to think of the limiting factor at this point, it probably would be flexibility uh -huh. in my hips. Um, uh -huh. I don't do enough yoga. Uh -huh. um,
yeah, come on. Really press on the arm, press on the arm. Get in the, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm too scared to take my foot off. My left foot. Yeah. Oh, wait. Go on. <laughs> yeah, outside edge. Go on. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then what? Yeah, press, 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 press. Yes, yes. Can you get my foot off? <laughs> yeah. I think that's going to be a no. But that's okay. I feel like the setup, like the, the way your feet were and the like direction you're pressing, it's like perfect. It's just the, the hamstring. The flexibility. flexibility. Yeah. That's okay. Well, that's good. It's not my fault then, is yeah. it? So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I suppose it isn't my fault, but I can, I can consider it a limiting factor and then work on it, yeah. I guess. Cool. So I'm on boulder number two, which is this purple. I think it's dynamic, like I'm reading it as a dynamic catch, but I've just watched someone do it quite statically. And typically I tend towards static climbing methods over dynamic climbing methods, so I'm going to try and make myself do it dynamically. Beautiful. Right. A lovely heel hook at the like, end. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like any any opportunity to get like a high heel or toe, I'm like, <laughs> I'm there. So, I don't know if I mentioned yet on this video, but um, I'm a trainee clinical psychologist. Um, and prior to that, I worked for eight years as a CBT therapist. And currently I'm working with children. And what we do sometimes um, when we want to externalize a problem, so say, you know, they're suffering with like OCD or something, yeah. is that we might externalize that by naming it uh, the OCD monster. So my fear is this hold. Is this hold. <laughs> so I'm going to externalize it and call it Barry. And um, there's no technique involved here. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Um, What's the thinking behind that? Is it being able to... Yeah, what's the thinking behind it, it naming something to uh, you? So, I mean, I wouldn't maybe necessarily do it with adults, but with children, it's, it's sort of teaching the child that their anxiety or their issue isn't them. Yeah. Like, it's something that they have and, and that, that's maybe affecting them in a certain way, but it's, it's not part of their personality and it doesn't need to be because sometimes people are going to be thinking oh like this is this is me and I'm going to be stuck with this for the rest of my life and, and that's not helpful um, for a child so sometimes we like to <laughs> externalize the problem um, and that way we can sort of join forces to like work against it together yeah. so essentially I'm recruiting you Hannah to help <laughs> me get past Barry because he looks awful um, and overhangs are not my strength so let's see what happens <laughs> I'm stuck on Barry. <laughs> Damn it. How did it feel? Um, I don't want to stay hanging around on him too much, if I'm no. honest. Um, I think it's one of them where I'm going to have to like yeah. just move because um, yeah. he's not very good to hold on. Yeah. Um, whereas the next move is a really nice jug. Um, yeah. So I think, I actually think I could do that. Yeah. Um, also, I swung, I sort of like cut loose a little bit, um, which is strength sapping isn't it so I wonder if there's a way that I can maybe avoid yeah. doing that. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to do it. Ah. 
think it was a similar issue with the drop knee. Did I actually but do a drop knee? I actually don't know if I did. I feel like you did. Um, yeah, I feel like you did. I feel like it, yeah, because I feel like it got me closer. It's just letting go. Yeah. And Barry is not a good thing. To it's <laughs> not good. But then that's the point, isn't it? It's teaching you to be less reliant on a jug yeah. and more reliant on something that's less juggy. Um, I think I can do it. I'll just commit. Yeah, I think so. I'll just commit. Give me a minute and I'll commit. Also, you've got spe you've got quite a bit of space on the top of Barry. I wonder if just you could bring in your bit. left hand to meet your right hand. Yes. And then you've got idea. less far to go with your right hand. Like the gap's smaller, but it might not feel as good. It's, on the it's top like you know when you have to like build your confidence in not being perfectly one hundred percent certain. Yeah. That's, again, another psychological concept is tolerating the uncertainty, yeah. which I struggle with. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think I've got to tolerate the uncertainty and just do it. Just do yeah. it. Okay. If I fall off, I've not actually fell off yet today. Yeah. And I feel like someone once said to me, you're not trying hard enough if you don't fall off, which I disagree with. Mm -hmm. I'm trying really hard. I should just go for it. <laughs> Actually, I think somebody said that to me in roller derby. <laughs> not climbing. <laughs> like, if you don't fall over, you're not trying hard enough. So, we'll, we'll take that philosophy. <laughs> Go on. God, you zoomed in. <laughs> you zoomed in on the send what face. Change? Commitment. Just, just you know what? I was thinking it. I've got on a drive home for an hour, <laughs> and I'll be thinking of, I'll be annoyed at myself. Make the last one a good one. Huh? Make the last one a make good one. Make the last one exactly. Make the last one a good one. Um, yeah, because I'd be sick, furious with myself yeah. on the whole drive home. Like, Why didn't you commit to it? So I just, I just did. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. What a nice way to end the session. <laughs> It always makes me really like Wallace and Gromit face. Like I'm always so <laughs> so happy when I've been trying something for ages. And it's you know, it's not the most advanced of grades. It's like an orange. I don't know what it is really, but um, for me, it's I like feel a like issue, because but... you like broke that fear barrier. That's like huge progression. Yes, and the adrenaline. I've got it. It's going. <laughs> it's, doing, it's doing things to oh, me. the buzz. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that session with me and Becky. I had a really cool time. I feel like we worked on cool projects. Uh -huh. You got your project at the end, which is an amazing way to end the session. Ooh. How did you find it? Um, that was so fun. Like, do you know what? Like, sometimes I come climbing and definitely spend a lot of time chatting I and mean, <laughs> we've done a bit of chatting today haven't we Quite a bit of chatting. in between climbs so uh, <laughs> um but I like, I like that aspect of climbing as well um i think um it was really nice to send something at the end there um and also it was really nice to make incremental progress on the things that were a bit more difficult for me um mm -hmm. and i think probably the most beneficial beneficial thing is just having the chance to sort of stop and reflect about mm -hmm. about a singular move yeah um like isn't something you often do um mm -hmm. so just yeah being able to give the chance to reflect on it and even just something so small as foot placement um mm -hmm. that was valuable too so thank you yeah you're very welcome i definitely feel like i learned a lot from you really for, yeah oh, from the like psychological no aspect oh, of things and oh, like cool. breaking down <laughs> Like I do a lot of breaking down boulders move by move, like the, phys the physical parts of boulders, but not so much a kind of like, why is this a, a stopper for me in my head? Uh -huh. um, I tend to do less of that, or I have like less of a vocabulary to be able to like 
explain what's going on with oh, my I'm really glad. Oh, so. I'm glad. Maybe next time we'll do a whole psychology focus. Yeah, I feel <laughs> definitely. I feel like there's a lot to learn. Uh -huh. I'm sure there's a lot that people would find really interesting about psychology and climbing. So thank you very much for Thanks for having me. <laughs> humoring me, coming along. And I will leave links to Becky's social media down in the description, so do go and check her out. There's some amazing content over on reeves.climbs. Is that right? Reeves.climbs. Reeves.climbs, yes. yes. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.